I'm Hal Humphreys and this is your weekly briefing from PI Education and Pursuit Magazine. We're going to be talking this month about leadership. I've been doing quite a bit of reading about leadership over the past couple of months. Uh, I've gone through some really amazing business books on leadership and how to be a better leader. Uh, it's a thing that I struggle with and I'm working on constantly. One of my favorite books that I've picked up in the past couple of months is called No Rules Rules and it's about Netflix and their leadership style. Not everything that they talk about, not everything they do is directly applicable to the PI business, but there are some things we can take away. Uh, Netflix has some strange policies in place. Uh, when you think especially about a big corporate office situation, they have no spending rules. They have no travel rules. They have no vacation rules. The rule is there are no rules. If you want to take a vacation, figure it out so you can take a vacation. Let people know you're going to be going for X amount of time. You can go as long as you want to, as long as your work is covered. There are no rules on vacation time. Uh, spending is another area where they've taken a bold move uh, and just said there are no spending limits. You can spend what you need to spend to get your job done. Um, what happens is people have the flexibility to, if they see they need to buy a brand new TV for a presentation, they don't have to go through a series of requisition orders to get the money to buy that television. They can go buy it and then submit their receipt. Um, the only rule they have is spend Netflix's money in the best interest of Netflix. That's just one small example of the leadership style at Netflix. I think it's an interesting one. Um, I think for smaller businesses, those policies are pretty easy to implement. Um, tell your people just spend money as necessary and spend it in the best interest of the company. The other thing the book No Rules Rules talks about is they talk about talent density. They hire people who are really good at their job. As a matter of fact, they hire what they consider to be the absolute best at a specific job for that role. Um, and they pay top of market for that position so that their competition can't come along and poach their great employees. Part of that is what allows them to have a little bit of a lax or actually absence of spending policy. Uh, they've got amazing people in every position and they trust them to do the job and they trust them to do it creatively and they trust them to do it right. As a private investigator, if you have people working for you and you have other investigators working under you, you need to be able to trust them. You need to be able to delegate. And part of that process is hiring the absolute best people you can for each position. That's just one example of leadership that I'm really interested in from my reading over the past couple of months. And it's one of the things we're going to be talking about over the next month here at PI Education and Pursuit Magazine. The other part of leadership that I think is really important, and not everybody has to fill this role, not everybody is going to fill this role, but if it's a role you want to fill, there are some really good examples of how to do it. And that is the role of leader in this PI community, uh, a business leader, a thought leader in the community. Uh, some examples that come to mind are Kelly Paxton, um, out in Portland who does an amazing job of standing up out in front of some pretty serious issues and talking about them and presenting on them. Um, she talks about pink collar crime which is basically white collar crime committed by women. Um, Kelly is an expert uh, as a fraud examiner in the area of white collar crime and what she calls pink collar crime and she has done a fantastic job of standing up in front of the crowd and saying, hey, I'm a leader, come follow me. Another example is Brian Willingham. Brian Willingham, a uh, friend of Pursuit Magazine, has done some work with us at PI Education. Brian's a fantastic guy and a really good investigator, but he also takes the time to stand up in front of the crowd of private investigators and lead. And Brian, Brian leads by context. He says, here's what I'm doing, here's the work I do, and then he shows you how he does things. And he does it with transparency and an openness that is kind of scary for some people. The thing about being that transparent 
and being that open about your process and how you do business is, it leads to better work for all of us. Um, and Brian is a leader in this business because he stands up and he says these things in a very public and a very open way. Tip of the week. We're going to start a once a week tip of the week, something you can take away from these briefings and use in your office or in your work today to maybe make your life a little bit easier. I have struggled over the years with keeping my car organized and clean. I spend so much time in the car that it's almost insane. Uh, it's not at all unusual for me to put over a thousand miles a week on my car. Um, I recently bought uh, an auto desk, executive desk, which is a crazy cool little invention that sits in the front seat of your car. It's seat belts in, it's got a strap that holds it down. It's got storage compartment underneath. It's got a desktop on top. It's even got a cell phone holder that is secured to the desk. So your cell phone isn't bouncing around the car. Uh, you're not trying to keep track of it. You don't have a bunch of things clamped to your dashboard to hold your phone. It's right there on the desk. And then it's also got this articulating writing desk that you can put your laptop or your iPad on, or you can use it as a writing desk. It's a nice little um, uh, blotter on top of it to keep paper safe and from flying around the car. Again, this desk is it's not going to change your life, but it might change the way you work in your car. Uh, check it out if you get a chance. I think it's really useful. I have enjoyed it over the past couple of weeks, and it keeps me organized and focused on the road. And that's your weekly briefing from PI Education and Pursuit Magazine. I'm Hal Humphreys.